So, forex traders often say that psychology is 80% of trading and a lot of traders are not profitable because of this psychology. Now, what exactly is this psychology that they are talking about? Kolofara, let me break it down for you, right? Psychology is simply the desire to make money. Now, how is that a problem? Like, isn't that what every trader are trading for? The sole purpose of every individual that's interested in trading the forex market is to make money and solve his problems. He wants to pay rent, he wants to get a new device, he wants to pay his school fees, he wants to get a good food, he wants to be able to afford good food. But what you don't understand about the forex market is that it is a zero-sum game that has the lowest requirement for entry among all the online skills. You can trade with as low as $10 or $20, giving you the impression that you can flip that $10 into thousands of dollars or millions of dollars just because you understand demand and supply and trend line. So when you are depositing that your last card, your brain is subconsciously processing that you will turn it into thousands at the end of the day so that you will be able to solve your problems. Same thing happens when you enter a trade. Your brain is subconsciously processing the possibility of profit. You're not giving room for loss at all. So immediately you're at loss, what your brain will be processing is the inability to pay rent, the inability to afford good food, the inability to pay your school fees, the inability to get a new device, to do a lot of things, to solve your problems. So you start to panic, hoping that the trade reverses into your entry or you will close and then enter again so that, and that's revenge trading until you blow your account. Because your brain does not give room for losses, that losses are okay too. When in reality, everybody has different problems that's influencing their actions in the market. Mark Douglas once said that the market is a mirror that reflect the collective thoughts and emotions of all participants. The successful traders will always say, don't trade for money because you always lose that money to the market. Well, it sounds counterintuitive, but it's the truth. In order to be successful in the market, you have to detach your problems from the market and deposit only the amount that you can lose and you will be okay. If you don't have enough to lose, do not trade the market. Do not enter for it. Do not trade a real account no matter the successes you are making in demo because trust me it's not the same once you detach your problems from the market you will able to follow your initial plan your initial strategy without adding any emotion without ascribing it to your problems when you lose you won't think of not being able to pay rent because you will be able to pay rent when you win you won't think of being able to pay rent because regardless of that money you will pay your rent so regardless of what happens in the market, you will live a good life, irregardless of it. So all you want to do is make a good analysis and be correct. That's all. That's only that's the only joy that it will give you. That's how you detach yourself from the market. Now, it gets tricky when you make money and you are able to withdraw it and you're able to buy something for yourself from that money. Now the emotions will come back that, oh, this money is sweet like this. I can make, I can buy this thing. I can afford this thing from that money. At that point, you have to chase it back again because you have to detach yourself from the market. You have to detach your problems from the market. That way, if you lose, you are still confident to live a good life. If you win, your efforts will just be appreciated. That's all. Share this video to all traders out there. Bye.